Hello, O-Doers! Stealthywood is expanding rapidly. How do we make sure that each customer is taken care of? Before, I might have had a few people handling customer support, but since my customer base is like way bigger now, I need an organized customer support team to efficiently address any concerns. Now, what is Help Desk? With the Help Desk app, I can easily create a customer support team and assign them tickets to all the team members within it. I can view all the tickets, and I can even keep track of their progress within the Help Desk app to ensure that no question goes unanswered. A strong customer support team allows us to receive valuable feedback on our products. It increases sales. And it helps us retain customers. And we like customers. So let's dive into the Odoo database and see how I can set up my help desk team. The first page that we've landed on is the overview dashboard. Here, we can see some quick information about things such as tickets assigned to me. And I can also see things such as my customer satisfaction rating and even my success rate on closed tickets. Underneath this, we can also see the help desk teams. Odoo Help Desk comes pre-configured with a generic customer care team, but we can also create multiple help desk teams, such as my VIP support team that you see here, which I've created for my very special customers who've paid extra. Now, each team's card shows the number of SLA issues and also the customer satisfaction rating, but I'll have to cover those in another video. I can also click on the tickets button here on the left and doing so ends up taking us to all of the tickets for the team. So when we're inside of a help desk team, Odoo takes us to see the entire pipeline. I can keep track of all of the support tickets and their progress this way. In the Kanban view, each ticket is a card that I can drag and drop and move throughout the stages, such as me picking up say ticket four and we're gonna move it around and we're gonna move it back. Now, we can also drag and drop the stages themselves and change the order of the entire pipeline, like this, and move it right back. We can also click on the little plus sign that you see here, right next to add a column, and what that does is it literally allows us to add a column. And this is important if we have other stages that are specific to a team. So, if we click on the little gear icon that we see on one of these, what we can do is fold the entire stage which ends up making it look like these over here. And then we can also edit the stage, which changes certain aspects within that stage. We can also delete the stage, archive everything, or unarchive everything in case we archived everything. Now, we can also configure some advanced settings if we go over here and we click on the edit stage. Now, once we're inside of here, we'll see what this is basically like the uh, edit column form. And within here, we can configure advanced and basic things such as our name and descriptions and everything that's happening within this. If I want tickets to be closed when they're moved to this stage, I would mark the checkbox over here to the uh, closing stage. And you would typically want this setting if you want it to, to be at the end of a stage, uh, such as, you know, it's done or it's been solved. Odoo also comes with some email templates that we can use. And these email templates are essentially, you know, emails that are automatically sent to customers once that they're at this stage. So we can also even go in actually and edit this. So as you can see here, now we've opened an email template and we can see different things. Um, Odoo actually allows us to have what's called a dynamic placeholder generator. And these things allow us to autofill things for customers such as their names, a specific ID number or something that, some sort of identifier that you wanna use for them. But I think this looks good, so we're actually not gonna do any changes. Now, if you wanna learn more about Odoo's email templates, be sure to check out the documentation on odoo.com. I can also share a customer stage here across different help desk teams, by the way. As you can see over here, we have customer care and VIP support listed. We can type in new names into this field, and this way what it ends up doing is we don't have to recreate the stage of settings every time we make a new team. When I set an email template in this field, what ends up happening is Odoo will automatically send an email to the customer once that they've reached this stage, as I said earlier. Now, that's all for the stage setting, so let me exit out of this. And we'll close. As you can see, Odoo allows for customization to give Stealthy Woods customers a personalized experience when they get contacted or need to contact a customer care team. So let's create a customer care, oh, sorry. Let's create a help desk team. To start, I'll click on the configuration and we're gonna go back over here onto the overview and we're gonna create 
a help desk team. Now, once that we're here, what we end up seeing is we see all of the teams inside of a list view. I could create a new team by clicking on the big create button right over here. Now, once we're inside of here, what we have is the, uh, you know, the team creation form. We could start off with a name. We can also give a description immediately. Now for our team, let's give it the name field service. Cause Stealthy Wood needs some people on the ground. Now I'll name this team this because you know it's gonna be for any on-site interventions my customers might need. Now we also have a smart button that you could see up here that we can click and it ends up showing you tickets for this specific team once it's actually been created and filled. But in this very first section, which is what I wanna go over, is actually the assignment and visibility. Um, underneath assignment method, what we have is a couple here. We have manual, which means, you know, somebody has to go in and assign each ticket manually. Random, which basically ends up allowing Odoo to automatically assign tickets in pretty much a random order to team members. And then the very last one, which we have here, is called balanced. And what that ends up doing is Odoo will automatically assign an incoming ticket to the team member with the least amount of tickets. So... Here we can basically control who the help desk team is visible to in the database. We can choose all users or we can also choose invited users. And that's pretty important as well. Now, these next few sections are more advanced features for my help desk team. If you're interested in topics like how to automatically create tickets, invoice for time spent on a ticket, set up a forum on your website, or even applying SLA policies, be sure to check out the other help desk tutorials and documentation. So now that I've configured everything here to my liking, what we want to do is pretty much click the save. And now we have this new team created. Uh, of course, if you made a mistake, you know, spelling error or anything, we can always go back here and we can actually edit the team. So let's go back over here and let's go to the overview again, actually. Now, as you can see, once we're over here on our overview database, we have a new field service box that ends up showing. And as you can see, we can click in here and create new tickets and do everything just as we could with the other ones. All in all, Odoo's Help Desk app is a powerful tool for boosting customer satisfaction. We saw today how easy it is to set up a Help Desk team. We create stages in the ticket pipeline. We also uh, previewed some of the settings that we can customize to streamline uh, the support process. But I just wanted to get it straight to you that you should stick around for more videos about help desk channels, SLA policies, and analysis reporting because we got a lot of good content coming. Thank you for watching, and if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.